Welcome to Beginner Web Design episode 16, and in this episode, we're actually going to be taking a look at what JavaScript is, what it can do for your website, and how to incorporate it into your HTML page. So the first thing we're going to do is look at what it can do for you. So the first thing it can do is read and write to HTML elements. So if you have some text in a paragraph tag, just say, JavaScript can go in and look into that element and see what content is inside of there. Furthermore, it can edit this content based on your visitor to provide a more unique experience for your users. The second thing it can do is react to a user's events. In CSS, we saw how the styling of an element can change if it's being hovered over or clicked on or if it's focused on the page. JavaScript can do more dynamic things to that and it can control the entire web page when only one thing is clicked on or hovered over or if a key is pressed inside of an element, all these different events that JavaScript can take a hold of. The third thing it can do is detect compatibility with your user's browsers. JavaScript can take a look at what operating system and what browser a user is using. So if a user is running Internet Explorer 6 on a Windows machine, JavaScript may have to say, well, your browser really might not work with our website currently, so we're going to provide you with a different styling of our website that is more unique to your browser and will provide you with a better experience. The last thing JavaScript can do is store cookies to a visitor's browser. If you're not familiar with cookies, they're just a temporary piece of information that are placed on your browser, basically wherever you go. If you go ahead and log into a website, that website is going to put a cookie on your browser so that that website will remember that you are logged in. It's also great for things like shopping carts because it will remember the items that are in your shopping cart when you do go to log out. This is just great for a whole bunch of different things and we're definitely going to be seeing more uses of cookies in the future and you've already seen them in tons and tons of different places all around the web. Incorporating JavaScript into your page is very, very simple and all you have to do is use the script tag. This is most commonly used inside of the header of our document but it can also be placed in the body if you want it there as well. However, just like with CSS, it's usually not a good idea to put all of our scripts in the exact same page as the HTML because it becomes very difficult to edit if you do have thousands or hundreds of lines of scripts or styles in the same page. So what we can do is create an entirely different file just like with our style sheet so that we can edit the scripts from a different page. So if, if you can see over here in the left sidebar, I do have my style sheet my scripts.js file that I just created and my HTML file. So to link up this scripts.js file to my HTML file, all I have to do is go into my head and type script type text slash JavaScript. And then I'm going to hit a space and type in source. And inside this source is going to be the relative root from the HTML page, just like to the JavaScript file just like when we were to incorporate our CSS file onto our page. So all I have to do here is type scripts.js because it's in the same exact directory and then end the tag. Unlike the link tag, this is not a self-closing attribute. So we do have to type the slash script uh, ending tag right over there. Now inside of our scripts.js file, we can put any text that we wanted to to be incorporated into our page and in the next episode, we'll take a look at actually what we can do with JavaScript and really dive into how to use it.